We are ready to start our painting of fruit now. We're doing it in the Saison style, which means that we're only going to use our primary and secondary colors to get shadows and make chiaroscuro, which is light on a round object. So we are not going to use black. This apple does not have any black in it at all. It's the complementary color to make it a duller, darker red. So our first step is you need a paint palette and you are not going to rinse out the paint in your paint palette until we are finished with the project. So get your paint palette and write your name and your hour on the piece of tape on the paint palette. You want to make sure that your paint palette lid fits before you put any, any paint in there at all. Some of the paint palettes don't fit some of the lids, so make sure that you have a good fit before you put any paint in there. Your paint brushes are color coded for your table and your table will share this group of brushes. Your table is also responsible for making sure that all of the paint brushes are clean. So it goes large to small, make sure that they are all in there. When I come by your table to check your brushes, if I squeeze and there's any color in there, no one leaves until they are all clean. So you're going to share these brushes at your table. And then you will have your primary and secondary colors. So you will have a red and a green, a yellow and a violet, a blue and an orange. So first thing you need to do at your, on your paper is write your name your first and your last name and your hour first, second, third, whatever hour you're in and then we're going to start. So I'm going to set it, my, everything aside except for my red and my green. Remember red and green are complementary colors. When you put them next to each other they make each other appear brighter. When you mix them they make each other look duller. Good way to remember complementary colors red and green, they're Christmas colors, but also Freddy Krueger's sweater is red and green. So the first thing I want to do is get a little bit of my green paint in one of my paint palette spaces here. And then I want to rinse out my brush really well because you cannot, please do not, contaminate the paint. I don't want any green on my brush when I get out my red. And then I'm going to get a little bit of red and put it in this space here. And then I'm going to start mixing those colors together. So my first space is all red. I'm going to put a little swatch of red there. And then I'm going to start mixing in a little bit of green so it gets duller and duller. This side over here is going to be all green. So I'm going to just put a little swatch of green there. I want you to watch first and then I will replay the video and let you do it one step at a time. Now I need to start mixing my red and my green together. So the first one, the first space is going to be just a teeny little bit of green. So I'm going to get a little bit of green out of here. I don't want to get too much and just make it a slightly darker red. It should not be the same color as the first one. Slightly darker red. A little bit more green a little bit at a time so I get a gradual value scale of dark to light. I think those two look pretty close so I think I need just a little bit more green in there. So I have a pretty dark color. And then the one in the middle should be about 50-50 green and red. So it starts getting a little bit darker. It's really gray now. I think that one actually could be a little bit darker there. Then I'm going to rinse my brush a little bit so I can get that green with a slight bit of red in it. I think what I have mixed right here will work. So it just needs to be slightly darker than that one. I think a little bit more red in there. And it's kind of it's trial and error. You just have to keep on practicing. So if I'm doing a red apple, I'm going to make my dark red with a little bit of green in it there. I will replay this and you can work along with the video. Now we are ready for the yellow and the violet. I gotta tell you, yellow and violet together, if you're not careful, it could be the most awful, ugliest color I've ever seen in my life. So, I'm going to get to my yellow. 
And I'm going to get my violet. You're turning violet, violet. And my paint palette. Am I going to rinse these out? No, 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 no. I, if I make a mistake, I want to have this ready to go when I come back to fix it. Or if I see an area that I need to touch up. So I don't ever, I don't rinse this out until I'm all done with the entire project. Okay, so the yellow is going to be, re, it's a very high key value. And it gets contaminated really, really easily. Dulls really easily. So I'm going to make sure that I have a nice yellow base. Then I'm going to put some yellow paint in one of my paint palette spaces. And you can mix up several in here if it helps you. You can have one that's all red, one that's all green, and then you mix your colors in between. That would be fine too. And then I need violet. Turning violet, violet. I just don't get tired of that joke. It's just funny for me always. Okay, a fair amount of violet in there. And go ahead and paint my violet space. And then I'm going to start blending those two so that I have a dark to light. So in the middle it's about 50-50. So I'm going to start with my violet. It wouldn't matter really which way you want it to go. But I'm not going to mix it into there. I'm going to be really careful just to take it off the edge so I don't get it too dark. I don't want too much orange in there or too much violet in there because I don't want to contaminate it. Now that looks really brown. That's probably better for this space right here. Put a little bit more violet in there to make that one just a darker violet instead of that brown violet. I rinse out my brush really well and start with my yellow. Just a teeny, teeny little bit of that violet will go a long ways. It already mustered it up a little bit. It's a very dark mustardy colored there. And then a little bit more violet. Careful with putting too much violet in there. It gets muddy fast. Okay. So I have dark to light, yellow to violet, violet to yellow, and it's more muddied up brown in the middle. Okay. I will replay this now for you to watch and work along with it. So it's time for the last one, blue and orange. If I ever wear a blue shirt with orange pants, you have permission to give me a really hard time because I'm going to be an absolute dork. But the blue and the orange will look really bright. What am I saying? I always look like a dork. You guys don't care. All right, so I'm going to mix my blue. Start off my blue. You want to make sure that you rinse those paint brushes out really well. When that water gets dirty, if it's not cleaning your brushes, then you rinse it, dump that water out in your bucket at your table. Remember, you do not go to the sink to rinse your brushes. You use the water and the water container to dump dirty water into at your desk. So the first one is all blue. And then I'm going to put a little bit of blue paint in my container here, like so. And then I'm going to rinse my brush out. <coughs> And get my orange on there. Paint just pure orange to start with. That's a pretty color. Orange symbolizes joy. So, not a big fan of wearing orange, but I do like the color. Oh, and then I need to get some on my paint palette. And then I'm going to rinse this paint palette out at the end of the hour. No, Miss Little Finger. I'm and then we're going to start mixing those. So I'm going to take a little teeny little bit of the orange and mix it in my blue so I get a duller, darker blue. Maybe just a little teeny bit more. Start by adding small amounts first. Slightly darker. Add a little bit more for my next space. Blue is going to be more dominant than the orange. And then the next one should be about 50-50 orange and blue. It should be a, a brownish color. Maybe a little bit more orange in there. Some of it, well all of it, it's just a little bit of trial and error. You just have to play with it a little bit and see what works. Alright, let's see what happens when I add all that blue together. I think that's more like it. 
And then I need to rinse my brush out because I don't want to get that contaminated. I've got a fresh brush with orange. Mix that up. It's a teeny, 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 teeny little bit of blue. Actually, that's right there. Mix that in so I just have a darker orange. And this one, it needs to blend better here, so I think I need to keep on working on that value scale a little bit. Mix in a little bit more, try to get a little bit more orange. I think I've got too much on that one, too much blue on that one. There we go, that's more like it. Okay, go ahead and complete your orange and blue complementary colors. Make sure that you rinse your brushes really well in between each color. All right, do it. Be good, be great, be awesome. Go, 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 do it.